Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Off the Field Podcast. It is I, Mobocito, and to my right is my right hand man, the day one, mm. the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Mm. Austin Kleska. How we doing, baby? Mm. I don't know. I feel tired <laughs> in the last like two hours. <laughs> no, I feel you. I'm the same way. I'm coming off of work, but you know what? I got spiffy. I got my jersey ready. It is baseball season. We are back in full effect. And mm-hmm. just for the fans, just you know, talk about your day a bit. I'm going to show Lobo, them what I did Lobo to my jersey. wants to show all of you guys something. So we're both in our Angels jerseys. He and his home white. I'm in my alternate red. We're one full week of baseball in. I'm so glad it's back. And Mobo, show them what you got. Look. Had to make a little a little adjustment to, to this uh, jersey. <laughs> As you guys can see, I can now wear it to the stadium and not feel I love how some people sad. just adjusted to make another name. He just completely X'd out Otani. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As but... we should. Speaking of Otani and speaking of baseball, we are going to be doing weekly home run picks every single week of the podcast. And me and Mobo both struck out. <laughs> I said Jordan Alvarez. He said Shohei Otani. I thought we both had solid guarantees. I was expecting the world to just, you know, come together and just cheer for Otani going like five for five with nonstop homers. I don't know. Unbelievable. Jordan, zero. Otani, zero. I guess Otani's washed, I guess. <laughs> but, Overrated. Uh, but uh, Shop said Mookie. And Mookie hit like four home runs in the first week. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he, he went completely off. Yep. One of them was today as we're filming. So, of course, it looks like our guests are on a roll, but the two hosts are here every week so far. I got nothing, which means for this new week, we got to pick some new guys or we can okay. stick with the old guys. I'm going new. I'm picking Fernando Tatis. He's had a decent start to the season. The fella refuses to homer when I'm there in public. Maybe he'll do it if I just say it <laughs> when I'm nowhere near him. <laughs> I think you the best, you know, you're probably going to watch it like at a bar, eating like a pizza or something. I don't know. I just want to see him homer in person, which has not happened since he started playing. So <laughs> he hates me or something. Trout and Otani did it all the time, but you, for some reason. they He he does not like you. I think he knows when you buy a ticket. Yeah, he knows I'm going to be there. and he, It's just like, I'm going to ground out. I'm going to strike out. I'm going to pop up. He's talking to coach. He's like, dude, don't put me in the lineup today. Please. Yeah. There's some bro, six, bro, world, six world sense that he just hates me or something. Uh, for my pick this week, I'm just going to go with a good old trusty Mike Trout. He's been not doing too that bad. Was, that was going to be my second pick if I didn't pick Tatis. He's not doing too bad. I know he just hit a bomb against Miami. What was it, like 473? 473 feet over the patio in Miami, which is ridiculous. You sat by there, didn't you, when you were at uh, the finals? I could see it. I sat in like center field. The patio's in like left center. Gotcha. So I, I could like see it from where I was sitting. It's ridiculous to hit it that far. That's well. No. I mean, you've been there. You you've sat and where you're sitting, he's mm-hmm. cleared it. And I'm pretty sure that 473 feet is going to hold as the longest home run of the season for a while. I'm sure somebody will kill one later in the year. Probably show in two weeks. I think for the start of this season so far, I think this will be the longest home run of the season till I'm going to say the middle of May, and then somebody will crank one farther than that. You know what? I feel like Adolis is probably going to go like 495. Maybe. And everyone thinks Adolis <laughs> is on steroids, too. Yeah. I saw the comparison pick between the two. I think he probably just, bro, probably just gained a bit, got his calories. Probably just in. ate some protein. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I think he probably just, he probably did some kind of like outrageous shit, like drink a, a gallon of milk a day or something. I don't know. Yeah. So a lot of this episode is just going to be containing what happened in the first week of baseball. Let's recap. Because it's back. And we got the biggest stories of the week. So we told you about the Mike Trout home run. The Angels in general breaking it down. The first two games, absolutely horrendous. There's been five games so far as we record this. Those first two, Corbin Burns just aced us on the mound. Yeah. Really couldn't do anything about it. Miss Corbin Burns, what do you expect? But Mike Trout to get the first home run of opening day. So That he did. Small W's. <laughs> and then the second game was pretty much exactly the same. And then we got on a roll. We beat Baltimore in the yep. final. Reed Detmers aced it up. Very mm-hmm. good. And so far in Miami, we've been dogs. We've been killing it. So it's been a roller coaster already through five games, which is typical with the Angels. I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, you know what? You just got to sit and just strap on for the ride because you never know with this team. And I was going to say, didn't Anderson go like seven innings? No. Tyler Anderson up? today. Very good. I think he allowed one. And oh, I thought, was, I thought it was zero through it was seven. either one. Or no, no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because that one wasn't given up until the ninth. So mm-hmm. 
Always Beautiful. our bullpen, guys. Always our bullpen. Maybe we're finally getting 2022 20, Tyler Anderson from the Dodgers. I hope so. That's what we thought we signed up for when we got him. He did not do that in 2023. <laughs> but hopefully the tides are changing because he had a very good start in Miami. Although, we'll talk about Miami in a bit. But other big news, Romel Blanco. I'll be honest, before this, didn't know who he was. But congratulations, I know hitter. In his eighth start ever at 30 years old. What? Okay, to be fair, I honestly missed this completely. We already have a no hitter. You didn't? Know, are, you, are you being serious? No, I'm being serious. I did not know that we had a no hitter. <laughs> I literally said in our chat yesterday, no hitter. At Dude, all. I've been hibernating since like Saturday. Yeah, no hitter <laughs> against the Blue Jays. Oh my God. What He's, team does he play for again? Astros. No. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Astros throw a lot of no hitters. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you've seen two. I've seen a combined one in one. Houston. I think that's the only one I've seen by the Astros. Are you talking about total? I thought, no, for some reason, I thought you saw two by the Astros. I know wow. Andy's seen two. I've seen two by the Angels. Well, three by the Angels, but we lost one. <laughs> and I saw one by the Cubs and one by the Astros. And I am missing one, I think. I don't know. But I've seen a good amount of no-hitters. <laughs> I goal this year is to see a cycle. Never seen a cycle in person. I want to see every bucket list baseball item on a checklist. Fan on the field, seen that a handful of times. Seeing a raccoon on the rock at Angel Stadium. <laughs> uh, seen no hitters. Haven't seen a perfect game, but I mean, they're kind of in the same area. Hand in hand. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Cycles just avoided me and a Fernando Tatis home run. So, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, congrats to him. I watched the final in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the no hitter alert. I was like, let's throw this on. Cause I get MLB TV every single year. Thanks to having T-Mobile. So thank you. T-Mobile shout out T-Mobile. I do not have T-Mobile and I'm very jealous. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, every year I see you put that, that damn message in the chat saying, Oh, you know what? Free baseball. Me and cap. We get MLB TV, any games except our local games. So what to watch angel games here. We just have to have Valley pretty much. Well, you have to have whatever channel it's on. Cause they know you're local. And they're like, just go watch it on the local channel. And I'm like, I don't want to pay for the local channel. I well, just need angels. I have it, but on the go, I can't do that. Yeah. It's like, dude, I, just let me watch my team. You'd be surprised, too, with MLB TV, if you pay for it, do you just get all the games? Or you're still blacked out, right? Because uh, yeah, you, get, you get all the games, except for Dodgers, Angels, maybe Padres. Giants? No, they're too far, I think. Hopefully. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah. So, no hitter already. Wild. First three, I'm skipping way down our list here. This happened today. First three homer game of the season belongs to Bryce Harper. What? Solo homer, solo homer, grand slam. What a way to cap it. Mm, Absolute whooping of the Philly, or (laughs) he's on the Phillies, of the Reds. So baseball is off to a hot start. We love to see it. And there's already a ton of news. Why don't you pick one off this list and tell the people? All right, let's throw it up. Um easy one just right off the bat Juan Soto is killing it as a Yankee I mean dude I heard he's gotten on he's gotten on base pretty much like what he's batting like 400 dude he's He's, ridiculous right now he made the game saving throw on opening day that's right um hosed him down he's brought the energy he's I don't know Juan Soto's a Yankee just feels like something epic is about to happen in 2024 I think you know what this is probably foreshadowing to maybe the evil empire might be back because I mean they're playing without Cole so once they get Garrett Cole back yep that's going to be a nasty East. Mm-hmm. And speaking of the Yankees, let's just talk about the undefeateds and the winless really quick. Oh, yeah. Hit them. I have to check MLB right now to make sure all these undefeateds <laughs> are still undefeated <laughs> because I made this last night. Obviously, we're filming the day after. Well, how about the Yankees this? are down three to zero currently. Oh, so they're cur- they're undefeated because the game's not over. <laughs> Questionable though. Yes, could happen. Here, I'll, I'll 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 read you the other teams that are left, and you tell me yes or no. Okay. Uh, we have the Tigers. Tigers uh, postponed, so still undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> undefeated with a question mark. And now let's hit them with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Mm, day off. Mm, still undefeated. They live another day. The Milwaukee Brewers still undefeated. Beat the Twins three to two today. Now let's flip the script. 
Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the winless teams. I already know one of them. Mets still winless because they were playing the Tigers and it's postponed. My buddy Raul is in the trenches right now, dude. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's hit him with the Miami Marlins. Uh, yep. 0-6. Oh, and six. and we, we are two of those. And we play them <laughs> tomorrow. Hopefully they are still winless tomorrow. Let's hope on that. And the Chicago White Sox. The White Sox might have a day. Uh, nope. They have a one win. They beat the Braves today. Wow. Three look to, at that. Three to two. <laughs> Damn, they pulled that off. Yeah, and I think that's everybody, right? Yep, that is. Okay. So, yeah. The undefeateds are slowly falling. The winless are slowly climbing. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. And another big thing. We have a lot of big things to talk about with this week of baseball. Jeff McNeil versus Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins, bit of a late slide going into second. Jeff McNeil did not like it at all. You started barking at him immediately. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't like it either if I got my ankle slid into. I'll say this right now, and I'm going to throw it on the pod. Mm -hmm. You did that to me one day at softball. You slid into second. I was just trying to catch the ball, and you, like, Cleated the shit out of me, like I right on, right on. Oh, Mainly dude. when a double play is turned, I throw my hands up. <laughs> no, no, no. He went. <laughs> you want to talk dirty slide? Go watch the Christmas game and watch Fernando slide into Allen. <laughs> I don't remember that. Wait, what? He got him in like the hip, dude. Oh, Fernando. I mean, Fernando. But a, a lot of people are saying this player. is not even a dirty slide, <laughs> and I'm like, mm. it, okay, look, it's dirty just for the fact that it's late. The, and some people are saying it's not even that late. They're saying, oh, like, he still slid before the bag. Well, like, we'll probably put the replay, but, I mean, in your opinion, was it even close? I don't. I just don't think, like, you should have to. People are like, oh, he's just trying to break up the double play. Why should we be trying to take out other people to break up a double play? Yeah. I, I Like, that honestly leads to more injury, and I don't think you should be out there trying to injure somebody. But then Reese Hoskins, you know, after Jeff McNeil's right in his face, Reese Hoskins went right back to his dugout, surrounded by all his teammates. Then he started talking smack. He did the, oh, cry about it. And I'm like, oh, dude, you're in your dugout defended by all your guys. Like, I'll say this. I will agree with you just for the fact that, dude, we are in the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. Obviously, teams are going to come out hungry. Teams are going to come out balling, as we've seen. Some of them not. But there's no reason to play so so damn hard to where, like yeah. you said, you're taking out people almost on purpose, if not on purpose. Like, I get breaking up a double play, like, if you're just kind of in their way, but, like, yeah. to the point where, like, you're trying to throw your body or just get a part of somebody else's body, I think that's messed up. Just no need to go out there and hurt somebody, even if it's minor. But, yeah, Reese Hoskins already has bad beef with the Mets all after all those years of being on the Phillies. Oh, so, <laughs> people don't really like him over there. Players, fans, he's not loved. Hey, you know what? I love him. He did a great job on my Diamond Dynasty team. <laughs> but for the next piece of news, uh, this is just new to me. The Oakland A's AAA crowd was triple their actual crowd for the home attendance. Yep. The AAA team had 9,000 in attendance, and <laughs> oh my god, Oakland had 3,000. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, what is going on in Oakland, man? I don't know. Another thing they also did, they sent down Estuary Ruiz, who was bringing back stolen base as a cool stat last year. He stole, I don't know, like 60, 70 bases or something like that. Wow. Very fast. And they also apparently have been benching Brent Rooker, their only all-star from last year. Hmm. And I've heard a theory that it's because they are in support of trying to keep the team in Oakland visually. So they've been wearing these bracelets from a company who supports and obviously does not want the current Oakland A's owner in their ownership. They want him out. Last dive bar, they were wearing bracelets basically on while they were playing. And some people are speculating that's why Estuary was sent down and why Bryn Rooker's being benched. And I don't know, but it's really messed up what's going on in there in Oakland. I not only am going to travel to the remaining stadiums that I have left, which is Minnesota, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Baltimore, D.C., and Tampa. But I would like to go to Oakland one last time before it's no longer in use for the athletics. Art and I almost did it 
this past Saturday. I remember you talking to me about it. The game did get played. The only reason we didn't go is because we were afraid it was going to get rained out. It was supposed to come down at like 70%. So we were like, ah, it's not risky to, to drive six hours, get rained out. They ended up playing. Guardians won 12 to 3. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I want to make it out there one last time. Just to remember how bad that stadium is, but how awesome the Oakland fans are. You know, I might have to tag along for that because I still have never been to O.co. Well, Art, <laughs> it'll probably work for you because Art's going to want to drive up, watch the game, and drive back. <laughs> he he is all about, go, come back. I got work. <laughs> you know what? I like that, but I'm one of those peeps where it's like, we got to grub out somewhere. Well, I'm too, I'm, I'm, like, I need, you gotta, like, that's a thing, dude. I need dude. time you, to like turn off the engine. <laughs> if you go somewhere brand new, you're telling me you're not going to fuck up a plate? Like, I, yeah, obviously. Dude, you're going to eat something good, and you're going to look up what's the best in town. Wow. Although, Oakland will not have an In-N-Out. <laughs> they do. No, they. you didn't hear? They closed down their first In-N-Out ever. The one by the airport? Because so many cars kept getting broken into? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, sucks. <laughs> that's in, that, I mean, that's cr- that's a crazy stat, first of all. First yeah. In-N-Out to close ever because of carjack, or just jacking in general. Yeah, I saw videos of it. People would just film them and be like, no. Yeah. I didn't know there were videos on it. I saw one video where a guy (laughs) is eating his in and out on top of his car. Another car pulls up, breaks into a car right in front of him. He sees him filming. He pops the trunk, takes a suitcase, and leaves. (laughs) It was such a hot spot for carjackers because you're so close to the airport, you obviously probably have your luggage in there. (laughs) Dude, that's horrible. Well, okay, horrible, but yeah, that's very GTA-like. I kind (laughs) of... They should make a map on that. But uh, for our next piece of news... Tyler O'Neill, five straight openers. Five straight home runs. I oh. forgot to put home runs. Five straight opening day home runs. So that is also a new record. Tyler O'Neill stands alone for the most consecutive opening days with a home run. So congratulations, Tyler O'Neill. Little snaps on, on the Red Sox now. Did Damn. you know, did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. No more in St. Louis. Fellas jacked, by the way. <laughs> oh, he adolesced it? No, he's always been jacked. <laughs> I was going to say, is, isn't, he, isn't he known for, like, huge quads or something? I thought he had huge biceps. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, he did that. The Rangers, on opening day, walked it off against the Cubs. A little RBI single Excuse out me, there. Excuse me, I'm getting cold. By Jonah High. <laughs> and uh, it was also tied up late in the game by Travis Jankowski, one of those unlikely heroes to hit a home run like that. <laughs> Um, what else? The D-backs, 14 innings. And Diamondbacks. 14 run f- inning. 14 run inning. That's insane. N- not a me. game. In an <laughs> inning. <laughs> That's how nuts they were against the Rockies. Rockies fans, I'm sorry. Your season's probably already over. <laughs> I was about to say, I love the speculation of the people online saying Chris Bryant just immediately regrets leaving Chicago. Oh, yeah. And then he comes out and he's like, I didn't do enough research. I probably should have researched this team a little more before I signed. <laughs> okay, buddy. I think you just regret. <laughs> bro Bro chose the cash. And then as soon as the first game was played there, he's like, oh, that's why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is why. But, yeah, we, well, before we talk about our opening day, yep. I've already been to one game. I went to the Dodgers opening day because, once again, the Angels were on the road, and we are always on the road, it feels like, when it comes to opening day. And this time around, we don't get back home for our home opener eight days into the season, I believe. Ridiculous, man. I think, and I'm not kidding, the time that I've been watching baseball, we've only had like two home openers. I, th- I think one. <laughs> Was it 2021? I don't know. I know we went to one, and we lost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Austin, I, for some reason, is like our team bad luck. Me? They do a lot of good. People, I don't know, man. I saw a game with Fireball and Shortsy, and we won. Look, when, you can <laughs> go back in my Clutch Cup blogs, bro, and there'd literally be comments of how does he always go to the coolest game? No, I know. That's for a fact, though, because I'm completely talking out of my ass. I've skipped out on what? Three incredible, uh, like, two no hitters. Games. One of those no hitters included the Anthony Rendon lefty home run. I think he even. I think you might have gone to like a game where Shohei balled out too. I think he did like probably eleven Ks. Probably eleven twelve. Pro- I mean, we've seen him do twelve multiple times. We saw him do thirteen in person and too for my birthday. I don't remember. It was pretty close, but yeah, the home opener for the Dodgers. It was pretty cool. I wanted to say, even though I am dreaded by the fact that Otani's a Dodger. 
It, I wanted to say I saw his first home opener as a Dodger because no. you can only say that one time. Next year, not the same. It's not his first one. We've already seen it. Yep. It's already happened one time. So. I will say this. Uh, I did watch the vlog. By the way, you guys should subscribe and have all the bells on for this man's channel. Austin Kleschka, that's right. I saw the vlog, loved it. Gotta Thank say, you. the fans look a little nicer this year. <laughs> <laughs> The, well, maybe fans, the fans were lively, I will say that. Maybe because they got Shohei Otani. <laughs> but yeah, I think their amount of pain, or any delusional pain they've had, because, you know, every Dodger fan's like that. I no think home run, though. Happy. Washed. Oh, <laughs> just, ball, 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 ball. just that, look at the jersey. I'll say, I'll say that until he homers, but that's just me making jokes. <laughs> You're such a hater. I love it. But uh, yeah, it was it was fun time. I ended wow, up going right? last. Oh, I ended up going for free, technically. Because my rain out from spring training got refunded and I didn't realize it until the night before when Cap was telling me about a ticket on SeatGeek because the tickets just kept going down and down and down and down. And he's like, yo, there's an $83 one in the left field pavilion. So I looked, said it was $0. I'm like, what the hell? Why? And then I was like, the rain out. The credits. Yes. And I got adopted out there too in left field. You guys could (laughs) go ahead and watch the vlogs for yourself. My man is like. Half Angel fan, half Dodger fan at no, this point. No, no, I mean, no. like, go watch the vlog and Look, see for here, yourself. Here's what I've told myself, because if I just commit myself to the Angels all year, I'm going to live, what I assume, please prove me wrong, a season of pain, which has already been happening, but my expectations are so much lower since, you know, we've X'd him out of the franchise. I mean, dude, that's the thing, though. We're in rock bottom right now. We can only look forward. So what I've told myself to make this season enjoyable is just be a baseball fan in general. Have you not uh, been doing that? this? Like, well, the yeah, but, but like I always am like super for the Angels because we always at least at the beginning of the season every year had hope. Like Trout Notani, bro. Like you think this is it. Finally, we had that one season where we made those signings with Renfro and mm-hmm. Drury. And like, OK, here we go. And now it's just kind of, this is the first season going into where I'm like, the bar is so low. (laughs) The bar is low, but I mean, anybody on the team can just go ahead and pick it up and raise it. So now I'm just kind of like, I'm going to enjoy all of baseball. And obviously when the Angels do good, I'll be there and I'll be ruining and cheering and talking about it and making videos and vlogs. But like, I definitely to make myself happier throughout the season. (laughs) Have to just enjoy it as a whole instead of just all through the Angels because I just mainly would focus on the Angels. And now it's like, let's focus on the world of baseball. And I think that'll lead to happiness. <laughs> I mean, that's the, you're saving yourself a lot of stress there if you're yep. just not focusing on the Angels. You kind of got to let it like be its own organism. Yep. You got to let it just kind of just throw yeah. it out there. I don't yeah. know. Like right now, I'm like, hey, look, yeah, I, we're three and two. Okay. Baltimore, I was kind of expecting it to go the way it did, which, thank God, I was either going to go to the Dodgers opening day or go to Baltimore and see the Angels open. Thank God I did not choose the Angels. Although East, the Easter game would have been fire just because we won. Oh, yeah, the one game we the won. The one game. But I usually only go to one game when I travel. I Sometimes two. No. And the first two, I would have been pissed. <laughs> we lost, I think, combined 27-6. to six. God. So, thank goodness I didn't spend hundreds of dollars on a flight, hundreds mm-hmm. of dollars on a hotel, and close to hundreds on tickets. So, money saved. Good. <laughs> Smart brand. Ended up going to the Dodgers for free. Saw them win. Saw the crowd get lit. And, uh, like I said, I was adopted out there in left field. This guy, Chris, who knows us, uh, was really cool. Uh, Jay, another guy out there. Uh, Fabiola, this girl out there. Oh, is uh, Jay um, the man who will shave his head? No, that's Chris. Chris. So, yes, he said, if the Dodgers don't win the World Series, and I'm holding him to this, <laughs> we all swapped Instagrams, he will shave his head bald, and Fabiola will be the one to do it. Right on. So, I am going to keep in touch with them all season, and I will definitely be hitting him up and holding him <laughs> to his word, and so will Fabiola. And we, I think are going to do it at his place. Cause he's like, y'all can come him over. <laughs> like, so I never want the Dodgers to win the world series every year, <laughs> but now it's to a new height. Now it, it's on site. Yeah. So with that, we also have our home opener coming up. However, could be in jeopardy. Could be. <laughs> what? Because it, of the rain? Yes. It's like the rain. 
I don't know if you feel this way either. The rain in California mm-hmm. loves to bother us when everything's about to happen. Yeah. Like Monday through Thursday, nice and sunny, not a cloud in the sky. And then Friday comes with a 40% chance. And then when all your weekend plans are about to start, the rain's like, I'm back. Mm-hmm. I will say this, Saturday looks like a glimmer of hope, but the home opener isn't Saturday. It's Friday. It's Friday. And your boy is going. This guy is going. going. Who else? Isn't Cheyenne going? No. She'll be in Denver. Ah, (laughs) Uh, Fireball. The Caps. Cap and Pop. Yeah, they'll both be there. (laughs) Not with us, but they'll be there. Mm -mm. Uh, Art and Revis, Art's friend. So let let me look up the Anaheim weather right now. Let's see. I'm looking at it right now. It looks like Thursday and Friday are only questionable, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so your phone and my phone probably say different things. What do you mean? So from 1 to 5 p.m., what does it say for you? Uh, are you looking at Friday right now directly? Yes, Friday in Anaheim. Okay, so Friday in Anaheim, I see 40% chance. Okay. From so... at 1, I see 40. From 2, to four, I see 60. <laughs> and then at five, I see 40. However, our game time is at 638. <laughs> you know what? By 638, it looks like it'll be 50, it, 53 and sunny. For me, it says at six, it's 40. Then seven, it's 30. And then it goes away for the rest of the night. It doesn't look like it's bad. So what I'm, well, dude, it says thunderstorms for me from one to five. Dude, my thing is like giving me just a cloud. How? <laughs> How are you getting thunderstorms, my bro? <laughs> bro, what the hell? So what I'm hoping, because, okay, look, I've been obviously watching all our games, and they keep promoting the home opener a ton. They're like, catch us at the home opener. Show up. Red carpet. Because no one is buying tickets, my brother. That, and also, don't promote the hell out of it if you're going to cancel it. Mm-hmm. So please tell me, because you better, if I'm looking at the weather and he's looking at the weather and we're fans of the team and you don't pay us to do anything and we're aware of it, you better be damn well aware of it and be prepared. Have the tarp on the field so it doesn't get canceled, especially because it's WrestleMania weekend. And if you move the fucking game to either day, Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to kill you. I swear, dude. I just realized that possibility. Yes. And now I'm fucking heated. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Dude. Angels, first of all, make sure that tarp is up and ready at Friday Friday morning. I will get... Thursday night, even. I will get there at 8 a.m. And I will help you put the tarp on the field. (laughs) Like, do not let it get canceled. If we're aware of it, there's no way you're not aware of it. So, please... Do not let this game get canceled. If it does, I think the honest uh, solution on when they reschedule yeah. is probably the next day, Saturday, in the morning. And I hope that's what they do because then I can still make WrestleMania because it starts at 4. Dude, it has to be like an 11 game, like an 11 a.m. game. Yeah. It has to be either 11. Do they do 12? Yeah, they do 12, right? Even, 12, even one is fine. I'd still make it. One is risking it, but yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, risking on the way back to be late, to but be, relative to the plans and the plots, to make yeah, you'll the be start time. of the show. Yeah. But everyone cares about the end of the show, honestly. Of course, <laughs> especially Saturday. Saturday's card is kind of mid for WrestleMania. I did not. Did they officially release the card? Yeah, they're both released. Oh, but Sunday is obviously looking to be better. Then Saturday is kind of looking eh. But either way. Protect the damn field because yeah. I know you guys. He does too. Any drop of water that gets on that field, you guys turn into such pansies and you will cancel the game. Not even that. Remember when the COVID game happened? The entire team gets sick. Don't tell anybody before 30 minutes before game time. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Simmons. I think it was Simmons who was like, oh, he has COVID like symptoms. Yeah. And then I'm talking about another. I'm talking about the game, the twins. Oh, I remember that, too. It was just a sudden mm-hmm. rain. Like, I don't think anybody was really expecting it. And so it was on the way there for like 15 minutes and they canceled the damn game over it. <laughs> because what I've been told is Angel Stadium doesn't have good drainage because they just don't expect it to rain which i don't blame them but when it's about to and you know it's going to be prepared okay big facts we're all excited to go to opening day 
None of us want it canceled. So like I said, if us fans are fully aware and prepared on what you should do, then do it. Because <laughs> I'm not missing it, bro. I, I, If it gets rescheduled to Mania, please don't be at night. Please. Any time in the afternoon is fine. That's good. And I also worry for everybody, because I'll be good no matter what, because it's my damn job. But I also worry for everybody else that's supposed to go. So, like, in your case, if it gets canceled Friday, say they reschedule it Saturday or Sunday, what does that look like for you? Saturday is a complete no-go. <laughs> Great. Like, legit <laughs> no-go. And then Sunday, well, I wanted to spend it with you guys watching WrestleMania. Well, Miss Mania's at four. So, But what I worry is usually Sundays are day games. So if they put it on Sunday, they'd probably make it the night game. Yeah. Which well, which that would suck. Oh, well, like a double header then, right? Yes. <sighs> so I, I can honestly just look right now. So currently we go to April 5th. That's our home opener. 638, which is the rain is supposed to slow down at 6. The next day, Saturday, also 638. So like I said, if it gets canceled on Friday, please put it at like 11 a.m. <laughs> And then Sunday yeah, is a 1 p.m. game. So if they played a 1 p.m. game, that went into like 4 and then turn around and play at 6.38. 6, no, it'd probably be 7.05, 7.04. Uh, just please don't let it get canceled. Take every pre- preparation, bro. <laughs> and even then, after, we're still here. We're still at home because we go right into the race. Tampa, uh, yeah, the series. Tampa. So, yeah, uh, well, I don't think they'll – obviously, they won't let the Red Sox leave if they have to make up the game. So, they'll try to plan it within the series. But just don't let it get canceled. All right, that's it. <laughs> like, Play through the rain. If and you have I to. know the tarp is meant for the dirt, but last time when it got canceled, I, the main complaint I remember was the outfield grass being squishy and soggy because we have poor drainage. So, if you have another tarp, throw that on the outfield as well. At this point, why haven't they fixed the drainage? They rip up the field when it's Well, I mean, I kind of agree with them. What's the point? Because we don't get rain. I mean, yeah, but if we're starting to amp up in rain now, I mean, we make are. some decisions. Dude, I, I, California I, as a whole, we're so, shifting. Dog. Some psychics said in 2024, there's going to be like crazy weather changes throughout the world. And she's spot on. Because in California, it's never... How many times we've already had softball canceled a handful of times because of rain. Rain is just, like I said, ruining plans constantly on weekends. And so I don't know this, whoever that psychic was, I think, you know what you're doing. Is it a TikTok psychic? (laughs) I don't, I just, I just heard somebody say a psychic predicted for the year of 2024 that weather events are going to be more catastrophic. And okay. That's out of pocket though. You said, you said crazy. She said catastrophic. Those are two, I don't know exactly those are what she said. Different words, but my guy. It'd be different. And catastrophic and is like we've gotten more rain than we've ever had in my life in a year so far. I mean, yeah, but like catastrophic is like a tsunami coming out of like Lake Elsinore. Hey, we live by the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> don't say that, dog. That's a realistic one too. Yeah, because we're like what ten? We're probably like five miles from here. Yeah, we're waiting on the big one. <laughs> The big one. And, uh, yeah, so please, I don't want it to get canceled. Uh, I just want to see my team. That's all. That's Gosh. all. Don't do it to me. And they're having a red carpet event, which I'll be at, by the way. Rain or shine. Fire. What time? Where? Uh, noon on Friday. I don't uh, think you'll make it. <laughs> no, it yeah, work. <laughs> womp, womp. Um, but, yeah, so I'll be there. I was there last year. They all I, I don't know what the players will even want to do it if it's raining, but we'll see. <laughs> this would be gr- this is one of the few times like, man, I wish we had a dome so I don't have to worry about this at all, but that'd be another waste of money cuz there's no point in having a dome in California. <laughs> hey, the sun would be xed out completely though. That'd be fire. No sun yeah. at Angel Stadium? Yeah. Dude, sitting right. I, okay, I, I get it. I really. And I know I'm bitching and moaning because it's like only for the first hour, hour and a half. But dude, right field is deadly sometimes. During the day. But how often do you go to a day game? Okay, like not really, but still. Yeah. I mean, by that five, by that like six, six thirty eight start, you know. Uh, it's the first three innings, basically, where the sun is kind of, it. I, it's not even that I'm hot. It's in your eyes. That's what's annoying, too. Yeah. The ball's coming at you, dude. You're screwed. You're getting smacked in the face. We'll be out in right field, by the way, at the home opener. So if you want to know where we are, we'll be in right field. To those listening. Oh, no, yeah. To those listening and watching because the videos come out at 2 Mm -hmm. p.m. on Friday on YouTube. Thursday, you'll have a full heads up 
uh, notice. Yeah. Friday, if you're watching the video, you better hope you watch it before you go to the game. Better run <laughs> to the stadium, we'll say that. Yeah. And that is all of our baseball talk, I believe. Make sure we didn't skip any topics. Any I think so. Oh, we did. We skipped one. We skipped one. <laughs> Talking about the breakdown? Uh, huh? No, we did that. We Remember I said they were dogs? That's right. And it was horrendous. No, uh, Will Benson and Encarnacion Strand for the Reds went back-to-back to walk off one of their games. Edwin's on the Reds again? No. <laughs> Edwin is retired from I was, gonna, I was about to say, I'm like, wait a minute. People can have <laughs> the same last names. His name is longer. It's Encarnacion Strand. Oh. Yeah. They went, I just saw the hyphen with Strand. Yeah. They walked it off to win back-to-back. And I now I believe we've covered all of our baseball topics for the week. And I want to actually, before I get into this fun topic that I have last in our notes, you, I have a car topic for you, oh. me. So for the entire month of April, Tesla gave everybody full self-driving, not just auto steer. Starting April Fool's. Mm-hmm. this year yep for the month yeah you have auto drive and so, self so i've had auto driving. steer yeah i've known that which, I, trust me guys it's as scary as they say <laughs> because one minute it'll be oh dude let me merge over and then <laughs> it's fucking terrifying dude please put your hands on the wheel it, hey, it's, it, it, <laughs> it, just eh. it's got it bro that's crazy and, watch you smash into the wall dude, and now like for the 50. full month of april we all get full self-driving. That's wild. I took it all the way to Pico yesterday. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got on the freeway. Yeah. Let it take over. I didn't touch the wheel again till I got to my destination. Dude, that is crazy. So it turns. It switches lanes. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> fucking terrifying. And I found out this morning mm-hmm. that I don't know how long this one's going to last, that I have summon on my Tesla. No, yes. so you could tell me you could be at Target and then just let it. Yeah, I hit summon. Mm, you mm, you pick where you are. Mm. You sit. You hit summon and it comes to you. God, <laughs> dude, I wish my Beamer had that. That'd be fun. And I can move it. Like I can go. I can only go forward and back. Yeah. But if I hit forward, I can make it go forward. So it's like a big remote <laughs> RC car. Dude, that's crazy. <sighs> I'm happy for you. You're probably living the life. I haven't used summon yet. I was gonna say this though. It makes you wonder because, dude, that's just an update, and people spend. Yep. Oh, how much more is up? Like well, 15, that's fifteen more that, days. So I, I thought it was just permanent, but then I found out today that the full self driving expires April thirtieth. Mm-hmm. I, it's a test run. I don't know if we're all gonna get it forever, but I'd be pissed if I paid the ten thousand dollars for it and then they just gave it to everybody. So if they're gonna make it a permanent thing, you better refund all, all the people. I'd be heated. I was going to say, the upcharge for sure starts around like 10K. It's like 10K. Easily. (laughs) Yeah. Dude. So. 10K for an update on a USB-C is a wild (laughs) game, guys. Yeah. So, oh, oh, man. I got to check and see if my car caught this. Me and Shortsy, where did we go? Oh, we did something for a video that I'm going to post in a couple months. Ooh. uh, Which he'll also be a part of. And my sunglasses. I was leaning down they fell off my head i knocked them once twice three times and caught them but it was right next to my car so i hope the sentry was on and i want to see that footage and uh yeah so it just blows my mind how we are in a world where a car can drive itself and you can summon it to you and yet what maybe like 200 years ago we were struggling to get around yep (laughs) That's insane. And now the final topic. Do you care about any Godzilla X Kong spoilers? Uh, no, because I've heard a it's a hot pile of garb, uh-huh. and then two, I don't care. Okay, so spoilers for Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire. I just saw this movie in 40x with Shortsy and Art. Sorry, I thought you said 40x, not 4DX. Mm, no, 4DX. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically like watching a movie in a roller coaster. <laughs> Do you actually strap in or you just sit No, in? you just sit there. But you that so I've seen Jurassic World in 4DX. It was kind of cool. This was so much more intense. Dude, the amount cuz anytime they fight or run it's <laughs> Oh, like it throws you Dude, in the seat. I the amount of times it slid me down and then I had to be like 
<laughs> and you have a choice if you want water or not. So anytime there's water or spit or blood, it'll go. <laughs> it just squirts on you. Yeah. Dude, and when, nah. there, when there's flashes like electricity or something, they got lights, they got wind that'll hit you. It's it's pretty insane. If if there's anybody, any movie you want to see 40X in for a rookie, go see this Godzilla X Kong movie. I've never done it before. I'm actually kind of like, like it, a little tempted. It, if there's somebody you want to convince that it's epic, this experience, that's the movie for it. It was wild. Now, uh, as far as Godzilla Kong itself, mm-hmm. how was it? I mean, I knew what it was going into it. They it's kinda, a monster movie, they, guys. They kind of set it up like this in uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. I love that I don't movie. like how they're going with Godzilla, how he's like a superhero all of a sudden. <laughs> but here's what I want to do, okay? Because this movie was ridiculous. Which of these, in a good way or bad way. Which of these statements is true? Okay? Okay. <laughs> One, <laughs> evil King Kong controls ice Godzilla with magic spike rock. Two... Little girl spawns Mothra just because she can. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. She just called Mothra? Spawned him. Her. <laughs> what the? Three, little baby King Kong is the hero of the movie. Or four, Godzilla suplexes King Kong off an Egyptian pyramid. <sighs> Ooh. Which of these statements is true? Oh, that's a hot ass one. <laughs> I'm going to go with one in four, but... I will say, just because I feel like it's a trick question, I'm going to say number one is real. All of them are true. <laughs> what the fuck? No, you, you 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 set me up for that. No, I didn't say which one is true. <laughs> I said which of these statements is true. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, if that was the case, I would have been wrong anyways. Yeah, one in four sounds like horrible movies writing. They were all correct. Dude, that's shitty. So, yes, Godzilla suplexed King Kong. <laughs> Off the Egyptian pyramids. Like, straight up just... Cleopatra did not die for this. You want to see it? Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I see it. Is it on, like, Max already? No. I already saw somebody put it on TikTok. <laughs> look, look. Godzilla's in WWE hold on, now. Hold on, hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Which more. we climbed up on it. Check it. Ready? Oh my god, he did go. Dude, he went on the pyramid. <laughs> and he suplexed. <laughs> nah, what are the comments? Read me four of the comments. Um, Godzilla's uppercut versus <laughs> Sikola 2. <laughs> That's true. No, seriously, how the hell does a giant radioactive amped lizard learn how to suplex? <laughs> uh, we about to see Godzilla hitting an RKO in the next movie. <laughs> suplex City. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, an RKO from God's... Oh, my God. How about that? What would you give King Kong if you can give... Oh, I'd give King Kong, like, a, the clothesline from hell. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, that'd be a fire. That, Either that or the angle slam would dude, be... Dude, angle slam would be hard. The, they're too human, bro. Like, what? Let, the reason that scene happened is because in they're in... King Kong was in Hollow Earth. Yeah, I remember that. And so he had to come up and get Godzilla because he's like, yo, bro, these threats down here? I can't do this by myself. <laughs> So he spawns in Egypt through the tunnel. The portal opens to take him back to the surface and yeah. he goes to Egypt. Godzilla senses he's on surface earth and he's like, yo, who's on my territory? So he swims over to him, dives off a cliff, basically. And then he's like charging at him. And I'm not even kidding. King Kong goes <laughs> like, yo, bro, <laughs> chill. So they just made him like meta human. Basically, and then he never talks, obviously, but no. Godzilla like spears him and he's like, Bro, get in the portal. <laughs> and the only reason they stop fighting is because Mothra comes up through Hollow Earth and is like, Everybody chill. And Godzilla loves Mothra, and Godzilla's like, Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Evil King Kong did control Ice Godzilla with a magic spike rock. <laughs> Dude, why'd you say it like that? Is that how they said it verbatim? It was more like, <laughs> ah, so then the Kong language. Yes, they don't talk. They do not talk, <laughs> yeah. guys. Yeah, remember, these are giant monkeys, okay? <laughs> no, they don't They don't speak English yet. <laughs> There's a scene where King Kong straight up gets his battle axe, puts oh. it on his shoulder, and goes, <laughs> like, he's the shit. Mm. I'm like, all right, we're too human now. These are giant monsters. This is a giant ape 
and a lizard Primal ape. Yeah, and a lizard, bro. So, well, please stop. <laughs> like, I liked it better in 2014 when Godzilla was just like a monster, and and the first two to three movies, like the last good one to me, where I enjoyed it and it was monstery enough, and nothing was like humany, was the one with Ghidorah. That one I liked. Oh, um, I didn't. I don't think I saw that. The only one I saw was. Versus. Godzilla versus Kong, yeah, where they fought Mecha. That yeah. was crazy because that felt that like... I was fine because I was like, oh sick. my God, Mecha, Godzilla. We finally see him in a movie. That's cool. But Ghidorah was badass. So I really liked that one. And That's not the three-headed monster, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, that is yeah, Ghidorah. Oh, I think it's Ghidra, isn't it? It's King Ghidorah. King Ghidra? No. King Ghidorah. Ghid- oh, okay. <laughs> and I really liked that one because it reminded me of a video game I played growing up called Godzilla versus all monsters. And uh-huh. that's basically what he does in that movie is fight all the Titans. <laughs> so I got I to gotta brush up on my Godzilla lore. Yeah. But like Godzilla minus one that came out earlier this year. Great movie. That one's solid. It's in Japanese. But minus one. Yeah. Came out. I don't know. A couple months ago. But uh, I enjoyed that one a lot. That's like classic Godzilla destruction just because he's bored (laughs) and it's all in Japanese so definitely had to have the subtitles on for that one but I've still enjoyed it a ton and yeah but all those statements were true little little girl does spawn Mothra just by doing this I'm not kidding (laughs) she said hello and then she just just goes like this and then Mothra just goes (laughs) and I'm like Again, she doesn't become Mothra. Mothra. No, no. Mothra's just like, what up? <laughs> Jeez. And then, yeah, little baby King Kong is the hero of the movie, basically. Is it like baby King Kong when like he like climbed up the Empire State Building? Kind no, of it's like, I, did you see the trailer at all? No. There's uh, what are an orangutan, I guess, the orange monkeys. He's one. He, I think he's that an orangutan. Mm-hmm. And he lives in Hollow Earth, and evil King Kong like rules Hollow Earth, and he's like a baby version of him. And the magic spike rock <laughs> uh, is on evil King Kong's like I don't even know like s- his lair. sash. It's on his sash that oh, he wears. Okay, and it's from a spike of ice Godzilla, whose name is Shimu or Shimo, which I haven't said. I've just been saying Ice Godzilla. <laughs> so the abominable snowman is Ice Godzilla. Yeah, Shimo. That's that's the name. Shimo. And it's one of his spikes, like how Godzilla has spikes. Yeah. And whenever evil King Kong, Scar King, goes like... <laughs> he's like, ah! It like controls him. And then so he loses it because they make it to the surface. And he loses it, drops it. And then he, little baby King Kong yeah. uh, grabs the battle axe of King Kong and destroys the spike rock. And so then Shimo's like, oh, shit, you ain't got control over me anymore. <laughs> and then freezes evil King Kong. And then King Kong laughs at him. He's like, what you going to do now? <laughs> Frozen. And then he picks him up and slams him into a million pieces. <laughs> and they save the day. <laughs> <laughs> what an ending. This is. better be the end of this run of Godzilla and King Kong. <laughs> I don't think they're going to bring him back. Just start over. Go back to horror Godzilla, monster Godzilla. You're getting too human, bro. You're suplexing. Them. Let Godzilla like tear up the entire United States. Like, please, just stop with the humanness of these monsters. Like, I want to see some like Marvel type shit where it's that's, like that's, where it's like King Kong steals like the space needle needle dude, from Seattle. That's what this was. Dude. But then, but then. Con- Kong gets the Sears Tower, and then they just start, like, dueling with, like, each building. Just... It's... That'd be sick. Oh, and uh, Godzilla does use the Rome Coliseum as his bed. So, that's another thing. He just sleeps inside of it. He literally curls up. That's hard. <laughs> Where do you live? Coliseum. Yeah, literally. It's not street. He sleeps in it twice in the movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Like, all right. So, this is what we're doing with big, scary monsters in movies now. Cool. They're just human. Yeah, please, please no more. I I, I don't want it. <laughs> and uh, I hope you want more of the podcast. Please we hope subscribe. You want. Thank you for enjoying episode 62. We post the audio on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, the Friday is up on the video. Gentlemen, the video goes up on Fridays at 2 p.m. Make sure to have notif- bell, notification My bell goodness. up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to not only the podcast, but to Austin Kleshka. Mm-hmm. Everything will be in the bio. You want to send them off? 
That's right. Spotify, Apple, and YouTube. You have them all. Then enjoy it on every platform or whatever platform you love most. Thank you for listening. We will see you in episode 63. Later.